Hi everyone, it's Andrea. So I'm back again. Um, I know I've been a bit absent lately. I've not been feeling too bright, but I'll go into that in another video. It's not too important at the moment. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I shared a uh, video of my film camera collection. And today is such a nice September afternoon. The sun's out, it's quite warm, it's not cold at all. But we thought we'd go out to Cardiff and go down to Roth Lake and just take some shots around the lake. So I'm going to take with me my Kodak Box Brownie number two, a Model F. Now, I know it's a Model F because it was made in the UK. I don't know if you can see it, but on the handle, a lot of these don't have the handle anymore. Um, it actually says uh, number two Brownie, Kodak Limited, and it says made in Great Britain. This particular model, Model F, was made between 1932 and 1935. So even if it came off the production line in 1935, this camera is 86 years old. Very basic camera, but it still takes um, fairly decent shots. So we're going to load the film. Now this takes um, 120 film. This um, is quarter 400. I've never shot colour in this, only black and white. So I'm going to put a, a roll of colour film in this today. Um, and we're going to see if we can get any usable shots. Now, I've heard a lot on... YouTube people describing it as 120 millimeter film. It's not. Um, 120 is the roll number. It's the name of the film. When Kodak came out with a new camera, every time they came out with a new camera, they'd come out with a new film um, size. So you would have 8, 828, uh, 116, 220, 120, 127, 126, and so on. And this just happened to be number 120. Um, and this was the camera that it was made for. This was a consumer level, cam level camera that came out in the early 1900s. Eastman, George Eastman's uh, premise was to take photography to the masses and make it something that everybody could do, no matter their pocket, uh, you know, and how much money they earned. Now, his previous camera, the first, first Brownie, the, or the first Kodak camera, came uh, with 100 roll, a 100 roll film inside it, 100 exposure rolled film inside the box. Um, you would take your 100 shots and you'd ship the whole thing back to Kodak. So you'd ship the camera back, they would take the film out of the camera, process it and then put a new roll of film in and send it back to you with your prints. Hence the tagline, you push the button, we do the rest, because that's what they did. But even that first Kodak camera was out of the price range of most consumers or most people. It retailed at $25 in 1900, so that's a lot of money. Alternatively, the box brownie, which is, it's, and there were many, many types of box brownie, originally sold for one or two dollars, which was much more affordable for your average man on the street. So it's a very basic camera. It is literally just a box with a meniscus lens. There are no, well, there are two shutter speeds, Normal, it's around 150, 160th of a second, and bulb, which means you can hold the, the shutter open for as long as you want, and you use this little, little thing at the top, it's just a tiny little piece of metal there. And there were three aperture sizes, so it would be something like a, a F16, F something, and F32. Um, you would use the smallest aperture, biggest number, um, for bulb setting, so for when you wanted to do long shots. And the other two would be depending on how bright the um, the sunshine was. You have a basic winder here and a window at the back to count your frames. If you can't really see it, the light in here is not that good to be honest today. Um, I haven't got my light set up in here and I couldn't be bothered to uh, bring them in and there's no desk in the room with the lights so so I'm just going to load this film up it's very simple you just open the catch at the back opens the back pull the knob out turn it towards you or anti-clockwise pull out the film holder so this is the film holder it actually says on it top and bottom top the fresh reel goes at the top empty spool at the bottom now when I got this camera I was amazed to, to see what reel was in the bottom because when these were first issued, they were there have been three types of spools. There's your plastic one, like this one, and that's the one that all 120 film is spooled on today. Just a basic plastic reel. 
Um, but there's also, there was a completely metal one. And prior to that, there was a metal wood combination. So you'd have metal ends. So the flanges would be, this bit at the end would be metal. And this bit would be wooden. Now when I opened up this camera, it had an original wooden and metal spool in it. So I was quite surprised at that. So we're going to load the camera now. Now I've only loaded this camera twice. So I'm not going to guarantee it's going to work. So I'm going to go get the film out. Oh, right. That's it. I only have two ro two rolls of uh, Kodak Portra left. This is one of them. So this is what your 120 roll film looks like once you take it out of your thing. And my camera doesn't want to focus today. I don't know why. Can we focus? That's better. Um, so it just looks like that. So I'm just going to peel off the sticky so we can get the tab out. Just take that off difficult doing this on camera actually. I do appreciate everybody that has done this on, on camera because it's not easy. So we just pop this film in the top. We pull it across the gates like that. There are several ways of doing this. All the way around. Until we get it. So I'm going to take the spool out for now. So I can just... There are two little holes. One on each side for you to pop it in. And this rolls anti-clockwise, so we're just going to pull the film out a little bit and make sure it's on properly. There we go. And then we pop that back in, like that. So you can see it goes ooh, all the way there. There's your line. We don't really need to worry about that line at the moment because when we pop this back in, when I figure out which is the top and which is the <laughs> top. So it just literally... Ugh doesn't want to go in slides back in and your camera is actually loaded so now and I put it in the wrong way so that was very clever wasn't it so that goes in that way actually <laughs> wouldn't be able to take any photographs the other way around see I said it would be a mess so we pop that in oh now that doesn't look right has my spool come out no yeah I'm not doing it see I said this like I said I've only ever loaded this twice my film's come out so we're going to pop this back in and try again. Sorry. Like I said, it's not easy. These, yeah, these, this was supposed to be a camera that anybody could use. So we'll pull it a bit further across now, that's better. Let's make sure we got this the right way around. That's, see what I mean? It gets, comes off very easily. Oh, I'm going to be editing this, I tell you. Third attempt. Put it in, wrap it around. What I'm going to do is hold it in this time. Like that. And in fact, I'm going to turn that that way. Is that right? <laughs> top. Have I got the top? Um... Yeah, I'm just going to drop it in. There you go, it's in. Close the back up. Hey, Now, we've just got to move the film on, so we need to have in this bit, it'll show us the number. I don't know if we'll be able to, to do this on. Fine. We need to put the knob back in, and then hopefully, in a minute, you'll be able to see an arrow if it's going in. I think I can see the thing moving. You just have to bear with me while I get this done. Yes. So if you see, you can see that there's an arrow in there now. So this actually tells me that the film's loaded and it's winding on fine. So I'm just going to load it. Keep going. So keep turning the knob. It gets a bit stiff this one because it is quite an old camera. Now we can see the word Kodak in the window. You might not be able to see that, but it does say Kodak. You can see something. That says Kodak. I turn it a little bit further and then we get a number one. This camera is now ready for shooting. So eventually I got my film loaded. I'm ready to go. So we're going to go down to Roth Lake now. I'm going to be taking this camera with me. I've got a roll of Silver Max in my Olympus AZ330 Super Zoom. So I'm going to take that with me because I might want to do some black and white. 
and I also have five shots left on my Roller Flex tee. That's been in there for over a year, so I'm going to take that with me as well. Now, I have used the box brownie before, and I took some black and white shots of the cemetery at St Willows. So what I'm going to do now is, before we go out and take some photographs, before you see all those, I'll just put a few of those photographs in here now. So this is Roth Lake. As you can see, it's a gorgeous day. It's a bit overcast, but we're going to walk around. Um, just behind this willow uh, tree, a bit further up, is a lighthouse, it's a Scott Memorial. So we're going over there and take some photos of that. I've got my box brownie. It's all loaded with film. I can't wait. And I've got my roller flex. So I'm going to take some pictures. You can, you can take. You can watch me taking pictures. <laughs> I don't know. It's that easy. I did think I was going to have to put it on the smaller aperture because it was so bright, but because it's quite overcast, I'm not gonna bother. So we're gonna walk around to the other side of the lake now and go to the lighthouse. Here. Oh look, the ice cream fans there, we can have an ice cream. I love ice cream. I'm gonna go and get us an ice cream. <laughs> Do you want sauce? No. Raspberry? <laughs> so here we are, we've got our ice creams now. So we finished the film in the box camera and I'm gonna finish the film in my roller flex and then use the Olympus to use up the, the, as much of the silver max as I can. Next stop will be back home so we can develop those rolls of colour film and see what comes out. So I'll see you back at home. So we're back home now and I've got my three tanks. Here they are. You can see them there. 
Each one of these tanks has one more Portra 400 120 film in it and one of them is the roller film we did today, the uh, I'm trying to think what it was, oh, the box brownie one at the lake. So I'm going to go and get these developed and then we'll see what happens once we're finished. So I'll see you in a bit. So I have now finished developing my three rolls of colour film. It took about an hour in all. Um, and they're hanging up to dry in my bathroom. So here is the roll of film from the uh, the box brownie. So I hope you could see that. I don't know if you could or not because I couldn't see whether or not you could. And you see there's the three rolls all looking rather good. So as you can see these ones are slightly bigger than say these ones but because the uh, the box rally does do bigger necks so we're going to leave that dry for a couple of hours now and I'm going to wash up all the tanks and reels and then as soon as it's dry we'll scan them and we'll have a look to see what we've got so hopefully I'll see you soon with the results